Okay. Ladies, let's talk. We need to stop thinking that we can heal and fix a man. Let me explain. Situations like this always backfired on me. Whatever unhealed trauma that man has going on, it is not your responsibility to be his peace. Make sure whoever you're dealing with is already healed. It's like adopting and re-raising a child that is not even yours biologically. It will harm you mentally, emotionally, financially, and it can become domestic over time. Since we have no time to waste on these types, they don't need girlfriends. To give you the raw truth, they don't even really want girlfriends. I'm not calling them gay. That was not a jab. They would rather link up and lay up, not cuff up because the way their past was set up. A lot of them refuse to be seen by a counselor. They tend to project their failures and fears and what someone from their past did to them onto you. He will compare you to those people. You are now his punching bag. You could be empathetic, which means understanding, if you can relate. But that does not mean you have to be joint to them, which means be in a relationship with them. You cannot change that man. You cannot make him better. You are not qualified for that. And you never will be because it is not your mission. So don't make it. You'll fall flat on your face every single time. You are not his mama. She should gonna tell you the truth now. To be honest, sis, you are in that man's way. Even though he's in his own way, that man is distracting himself from healing by making sure you're distracted by him. I can almost guarantee you he will sabotage everything that you worked hard for by being jealous and envious of your life and how well put together you are. Relationship goes my ass if he is not ready for you. No thank you. Next. My best advice for you is to get out that man's way. I don't care how much he says he moved on from his past. His actions are not aligned with his words. And you're going to know head on from jump. Pay attention. Get that belief out your head. You're not asking for too much, ladies. You're setting boundaries. You have standards. You know your worth. You're guarding your heart, protecting what belongs to you, being cautious of who you involve yourself with, protecting your peace. Please listen and trust me on this. Be safe before it's too late. Thank me later.